they were really, really bad. They had a sub come in when the aide had her break yesterday and they were so bad. They were breaking pencils, they were just awful. So I'm gonna have a talk with them. basically slightly more than an hour shift you to get there a little early and you have five minutes to leave the previous classroom and get the next one from lunch not a lot of time because you know you don't want to keep them there extra time as i said i have a kinder and then a fifth so we'll see how those two experiences compare I don't want to stress too much about it. Glad I don't have to go outside to recess. I was thinking yesterday that that would be the least stressful part, but it was actually really stressful. <laughs> Just getting them from the lunch to the recess and not being able to count them and then they're just like all over the playground in the fields and there's no hope of counting them because you didn't know who they were. Oh, that was a little stressful. At least taking them right back to the classroom, they're contained. I can see who they are. Anyway, I slept pretty good, but not enough. I think I went to sleep at 11.30, and then my alarm goes off at 5.30. I only woke up once or twice, except that I did have a lot of dream fragments, fragments that I remembered. So that means I probably woke up during them. They weren't like ends of dreams I was in the middle. But I just got Sebastian off to school. So far it's been working really well to have his blinds halfway open when it's gonna be a school day the next day because the daylight slowly wakes him. And I don't have to deal with it because he can be really mean <laughs> if I wake him up from sleep, sorry. My nose drains in the morning, but then I don't really need to blow my nose when I'm around people. So he was out of bed when I was heading downstairs at 6.15. And his door was a little open, so I stuck my head in and he was at his desk doing Legos. Which is fine. I came down here and kept getting things ready for his day until he needed to to come down to eat and dress. I just woke up Jack's and then I'm going to make him breakfast and lunch. Get him to school, drop off this library book that's due today on the way back home. I have 12 labels to do, so I'll try and get as much done as I can before I have to get ready to go to school slightly earlier today. More like going for a lunch shift, a tiny bit later than that. Because the kindergartners eat lunch first, and I'll be picking up <laughs> I don't know which aids are for the teacher I'm covering. All the aids are there in the lunchroom, and I don't know <laughs> which one or two is for my teacher. I've never seen any of the kindergartner teachers. I was scooping out the rooms when I hung the posters and they have like headshots of all the teachers and aides on the rooms and I'm like I have never seen any of these kindergartner teachers I only recognize the aides because I only see them at lunch but yeah I will be doing that and then come home finish any labels I didn't finish I mean I might need to stop at the store I might need some dinner supplies I don't really want to. I'm so tired. Tomorrow's the field trip. It's going to be a muddy mess at the farm, probably. I don't really have rain boots that are comfortable. 
So I'm gonna have to mess up my ducks and have to clean them, but it's all good. Yeah, I'm gonna continue on with my day. been home for a little while. I was doing work. It was interesting. It went well. It went well. No worries. I got the kids off to school and came home. I had breakfast around 8. So while Jax was still here. And then, yeah, I got them to school, came back had time to start on all those beer labels I had to do. I had 10 sent to me and then four just came, which I just did. Sorry, I was going up here to look at something before I have to go to the bus stop. So just thought I'd take you with me. Chuck's had some stickers. Check them. I'm gonna set you down. Everything's falling apart here. Oh, that's a flattering look. So flattering. Anyway, yeah, I got those labels done luckily in time. Because I know it. Time goes so fast if I don't get things done before I go out to volunteer and stuff. <clears throat> He's got a bunch of extra stickers and I'm about to get a new iPad case with a keyboard. So I want to see if he has any repeats that I actually want that are on my old case. Because I don't know if they'll stick. I don't have anything to put you on. Maybe Kirby can help. Hold me up. Help Kirby. Oh god, he's not big enough. <laughs> Here's a Kirby I drew last night. Boop Kirby. Anyway, so I headed out to the school. Got there really early. I'm always early. I waited in my car for 10 minutes so that I came in 30 minutes early. <laughs> and I got my packets. They told me that the aides, the kindergarten aides, would bring the kids to the classroom, which is great. I didn't have to deal with that. 
but I also found out that the aides would go on lunch and it was just gonna be me with the kindergartners. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. And they're like, and wait, there's somebody who's a problem. Let me go find out. Like, like if this kid acts out, just don't even, like they were scaring me. I'm like, oh, okay. Right when she went off the volunteer to find out who that kid was, a little boy and a little girl who I always see at lunch, but I don't know them. They are they were gonna be at my little craft session. They were like saying, you're fired, <laughs> like to me. They were like just being silly and I bend down. I was like, I'm fired, oh no. Do you know that I get to go to your class after lunch and do an activity with you? Like these kids are so cute. There was like, I love your hair and you made it blue and so pretty. And they're like, oh my gosh, that's so exciting, yay! And then she comes back after we had a little chat about, because her teacher's gonna have a break. The volunteer is like, so it's that boy right there. <laughs> and it was literally the boy I was talking to. I'm like, oh, okay, well, he knows that I'm coming at least. I was told like, if he doesn't want to do it, just let him do whatever he wants. Like. Like, basically just let him do whatever he wants because otherwise he'll blow up. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> so I helped out in the cafeteria for about 10 minutes. Of course, everybody had carrot bags today and I didn't bring scissors, but I was just like ripping them with my fingers. Well, I had gloves on, I put gloves on. And yeah, Everybody was chatting with me and coming over. There was a little girl in a different kindergartner class who was not happy that I didn't get her class. I guess they did it. They might have done it yesterday. But a few minutes before they would be arriving back at the classroom, I went back and waited in the hall because the teachers were on their lunch. I saw some other volunteers arriving at other kindergarten rooms. And... Yeah, the aide arrived with them. She already knew I was gonna be there because I talked to her at the cafeteria. And the teacher arrived and came in. It's almost time for me to go to the bus stop. And was like, so they were really, really bad. They had a sub come in when the aide had her break yesterday and they were so bad. They were breaking pencils, they were just awful. So I'm gonna have a talk with them. So she had them sit on the rug and had a talk with them. I don't think he has any of the stickers that I wanted. And basically, just like, we can't be breaking pencils. You've got to be good. I don't want to repeat. I don't want a bad report. Sorry, that was loud. And yeah, left me to it. I just jumped right in and introduced myself we talked about passports and both classes I did really jumped on the travel theme and they did not as much want to focus on like drawing a picture of the teacher teaching or doing things like that so it's fine that will make them smile but I did make one mistake at the beginning while they were still on the rug I should have sent them to their tables and then showed them these super exciting sheet of stickers with their photos on it because that's like the little kids like that i'm like and wait the best part <laughs> but they were still on the rugs of course they all stood up and crowded and were like i want to see i want to see i want to see and the teacher walked right back in to grab something and i'm like oh jeez already look like i'm failing <clears throat> but she helped send them to their seats yeah we made it through that little boy the troublemaker he was an amazing artist. He insisted on showing me his picture and then he wanted one of the blank postcards to do additional drawing and showed me that. There were boys running back and forth across the room after they were finished and I know it's hard. They just finished the lunch, they're buzzing and some door opening. I felt bad for a reading teacher that was at a table in the hall. They used to have a little station out there so they can easily send the kindergartners out to do little reading lessons. <laughs> but it it wasn't that bad it really wasn't as bad as it sounded. most of the kids were like working there was a little bit she took my crayon but all of it i'm just like oh, sorry <laughs> it's fine <laughs> it's fine we just have a few more minutes it's fine and yeah i was like guys if you're done i don't mind if you're getting your wiggles out but 
do it on the rug. Stop running to the door, stop opening the door. And yeah, the boy I was supposed to watch out for, he did somehow have a paper airplane and was throwing it around and I had six other little kids come up to me and ask for a paper airplane and I'm like, I don't know where that paper airplane came from, but I need to get all these papers because your teacher's coming back. But yeah, I gave them a good report. I was like, yeah, they were very restless at the end when they were done and she understood it was because they finished and they were done and they had nothing to do. I did have some kids ask to go do a calm corner to calm down. I'm like, are you allowed to do that? And I like how if I'm feeling a, lot, a big emotion and I'm feeling one now, I'm like, I can't deny you that, go. So then, after I gathered everything up, shoved those things back in their folder, I headed off to the lunchroom. And again, as I approached, I saw many volunteers, like at least four, with the packets. And they had the names written on the back this time, like pick you up at the airport style that we had suggested. Well, another volunteer had suggested. Def definitely with different vibes. Yesterday, there was three of us and we were together for three sessions. Two out of the recess, we were chatting and then we all had a second grade class. So we would transition at the same time and talk it through. I did not talk to anybody. I just kind of nodded to a couple, but it was pretty chaotic going in there and getting the fifth graders and they were waiting. I was like probably the last one in there and my class was like craning their necks up on the benches trying to see. So I walked in like <laughs> the place because <coughs> I'm very familiar with them and hold up my sign. I'm like, I got you. <laughs> and they're like, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if they cared, but I just came in with the attitude of like, yeah, let's do this. And I was just like, Phew. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know the fifth grade hall. I chose a, a line leader and I chose wisely and she, I was like, I'll, I'll follow you. And I just kept holding up my sign, hoping that they would keep on moving when I didn't see kids coming out anymore. I went to find my class and she had stopped at the end of the hallway where it turns just like she's supposed to. Like, yeah, like take us to the classroom. At the classroom, sorry, I have to go outside. At the classroom, the teacher was there and he had his laptop. He's like, hey, I'm just gonna sit in the back. I got some stuff to work on while you do it. I'm like, we're actually making a surprise for you. So I don't know how long he can like not pay attention. He's like, oh, oh, I'm so sorry. Thank you for telling me that I will head out and do it out. <laughs> so hold on, let me get it. Oof, oof, oof. I kind of want my tea as well. Oh, one of the kindergartners is at our bus stop and he's adorable. All the kids were like, I've seen you here, I've seen you there. You did volunteer that day. Yeah, so we I waited for everybody to sit down and then the teacher left. I you're gonna get a, a close up a view of me. Because street signs and all. The squirrel totally killed the rest of my sunflower. R.I.P. sunflower. But yeah, I went in with the same thing as I had been doing. Sorry, I gotta look at my mouth right now. I don't wanna show everybody's house numbers and stuff. But, ask, do you know what a password is? Who has a passport? Why do you appreciate your teacher? Da, 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 da. The, the fifth graders just wanted to like, draw a vacation destinations, listen to music, listen to meme music. There's the Whopper song, which Jackson would appreciate. Buckle My Shoe, Funky Town, those are the three on repeat. I picked my battles, the class clown who I knew from lunch. I was just like, mm, they're not doing I asked him once or twice and then I was like, ah, okay. And I just took it back. But everybody else did it, so that's good. Some better than others. We got it done. One, actually, there was one girl that did not finish and then I saw her putting it into her notebook and I'm like, mm, I need that. I need to leave with it. So, but she really wanted to finish it some other time. And I was like, I don't know, just bring it to the office. 
and that was it. I dropped it off and just headed out. They still had a few more to go, so didn't need to do a brain dump or anything. Yeah, okay. It's chilly out here. I'm so sick of it being barely 50 degrees. I will see you later. this up. Nothing more to say. I will be off on that field trip tomorrow. I gotta get my beauty rest. My sad amount of sleep. But I'll take it because I am tired. Tired, tired. I'm trying to think if there's anything I can update you on. Not really. Talk to you. Danny went and picked up our tile order. We brought it into the house. I had finished up the last four labels and was just chilling by my computer while Sebastian played outside because I was waiting to see if there were edits. I have not gotten any. Hopefully he doesn't need any tomorrow. I will not be at a computer. But Jax was at his club so he didn't come home at his normal time and he said he was going to walk with his friend but as they were walking to get to the path to come home his friend's dad showed up and took him home so Jax messaged me and asked me to pick him up which I did and we ate Mediterranean food and just a tiny bit of time before bed and now it is 7.56 that doesn't seem right I don't know I just took my watch off Sebastian has a few minutes to play and then we'll do his nightly routine. And I will see you tomorrow. Good night, stay safe, be kind, and don't forget, wash your hands. <laughs>